G'day guys, welcome back to Red Trucks, my name is Jim. Today's video is another look at some uh, Del Prado trucks. Um, got quite a few of these Del Prado branded trucks, so uh, I thought I'd do a second video about them. Possibly even a third, who knows. Uh, like I said previously in the other video, uh, I really like this brand. They do some excellent uh, detailed fire vehicles from uh, mainly European vehicle. Uh, mainly European countries, sorry. So let's get right into it. Um, let's have a look at this first one. Uh, let's give them a clean. Um, this one is part of the same lot from the previous video. Um, the lot where I bought about 16 or 17 and when you average it out, they cost $3.50 each, uh, which is a bargain. They're missing a few bits here and there, a few paint chips or uh, flea bites as Todd from Mountain 66 likes to call them. Hey Todd, how you going? Um, so let's have a look at the base. What's it say? I finally got one the right way around the first go. So you got a 176. These scales are all over the place from Del Prado. Yeah, I've had 164, 150, and this one's 176. So it's a 1990 Cellule Post de Commandment. It's a Renault, Renault Corex or Kirex, Corex, I think. So it sounds like a French truck. Post de Commandment Sapiens Pompiers Vez Lines, Yves Lines. Definitely French, yeah. Um, I don't know what it means. Um, I know there's a few people out in YouTube world that can understand French. Um, Sparky's, Sparky's wife, Jewel, is one of them. She'll probably let me know what this means. Um, but I'm guessing it's a, some sort of command module. Common, commandment, commandment, yeah. So let's take a look. Uh, got some nice wheels, actually. Really nice. Uh, let me see. Yeah, rubber tires again, treaded. Most Del Prados that I have have rubber tyres, so which is good. Uh, you've got something in there. Oh, it's a spare tyre. <laughs> I was wondering why there was protective bars around it. Sorry, just adjusting, adjusting the glove. Um, so this one's got one side mirror. It's got the driver's side, side mirror intact. Uh, there's the logo on the door. From the Sapiens something. Yeah. Alright, looking at the front, as I said, it's a Renault truck. You got painted headlights. Uh, let's take a look at the interior. We've actually got a little sunroof on top, which isn't clear. But yeah, left hand drive. Um, let me get a good angle. Bit of detail in there, not much. Got an air conditioning unit in white. Uh, got a couple of uh, floodlights or spotlights. Around to the passenger side, as I said, the the side mirror is missing. A lot of these trucks arrived with side mirrors broken off. I, I glued most of them back on. I guess side mirrors are one of the first things that uh, breaks off. Sometimes I even break them off in these videos. Uh, some nice light details under there, the mud flaps, doors on the back. On top, you've got a ladder. So yeah, I'm thinking this, um, I don't know if this is detachable, like one of those detachable, detachable modules they can set down somewhere. Possibly. But yeah, nice Renault truck. Nice detail. From the brand Del Prado. And what did I say? It's a uh, 176 scale, isn't it? Yeah, 176. Right. Oh, I keep knocking that torch down. Okay, here's a similar truck. Um, it's another Renault. 
slightly different model, I guess. See, look at the fronts on them. This one's slightly bigger too. Let's have a look at the scale of this one, the small one. Yeah, this is a 180 scale. It's a 2005 vehicle risque Chimic Renault. So it's some sort of chemical risk vehicle, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Just make a fool of myself. But yeah, again, I think it's one of those type of... Well, possibly not. I was going to say it might be a module that they can detach from the truck, but... I'm not sure, this looks like one of those loading ramps you get on removalist trucks. It's got some nice um, decals, lights, a nice bumper bar at the back, spotlight, one beacon light there. Is there one missing? Uh, let me have a closer look. No, it's not one missing. Got some railings on top, possibly an air vent. Let's have a look at the interior. Um, well, yeah. Once again, a left-hand drive because it's French. Uh, yeah, a, di a, a different scale and a different type of Renault. 180, 176. So, slight difference. Not that noticeable. Well, the cabin, you can notice it. It's going to lined up properly. Yeah, slight different in scale. I don't know why they fool around with all these different scales. Can't they just stick to, a, you know, two or three? What's it say under there? Does it say turbo or something? Yeah, a couple of nice beacon lights on this one. Um, oh yeah, the beacon lights were missing on this one. See the two holes? Possibly they've fallen inside. Because otherwise, how would you take them off? Who knows? So you got a ladder, so you you need to access the top for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think it's a ladder that you take off the vehicle and use it to climb up somewhere else. I think it's to access the top. So you've got a nice toolbox under there. Um, spare tyre. Once again, the tyres are rubber. These two tyres look really close together compared to the other one, yeah. Look at that. The width of the axles. Is that a good example? No, I can't get them very close, but this one's definitely a much narrower axle. Both got spare tyres. It's actually, overall, it's quite a narrow vehicle, actually. Possibly due to the, the smaller scale, but yeah, nice truck. Okay, that's the second Renault. Uh, next we got what I believe is uh, like a bushfire truck or forest fire truck. Again, part of the same lot. Looked out to be a $3.50 truck. Um, missing a side mirror. Missing these bars. These bars should extend all the way down into that hole, I think. Because I've seen pictures of this on eBay and, and the bars extend at the front as well. Uh, but it still looks okay. Uh, let's have a look at the underneath. So we've got a 164 scale. So we've had three different scales in this video already. It's a 1999 CCFF. It's another Renault. It's a 210-12 Camiva made in China. Treaded rubber tyres again. Uh, no spare wheel on this one. Oh, <laughs> the spare wheel's on top. Dummy. Duh. So lots of storage cabinets. Uh, it's got Camiva. It's got a bit of a paint chip there, I believe. Uh, let's have a look at the interior. Left-hand drive. Uh, roll of bench, roll of seats at the back for the crew. Um, not sure what that silver, loose silver thing is. 
uh, runs down the side there. Is it the exhaust pipe? No, there's the exhaust pipe there. Yeah, I don't know what that silver thing is. Um, oh, is that really dirty or what? Is that better? Uh, a little bit. Uh, fire hose reel on the back. You got Camiva. Uh, not sure what Camiva means. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, most of these like bush firefighting vehicles you find are pretty short and squat. Uh, they have like a short wheelbase. Same here in Australia, similar setup. So yeah, another Renault, as I said. I think it's another different type of Renault, a different make as well. So yeah, what scale did I say it was? Uh, 164. So this is a bigger scale than the previous two. Uh, one side mirror missing. All right, let's go on to the last one. Pretty unusual looking vehicle this. Um, let's have a look at what it says underneath. It's a 172 scale auto pomp Dong Feng. Dong Feng, well, that sounds Chinese to me. Julie's on the back, which is really great. So they're saying this is a, um, a Chinese vehicle, possibly. Nice light details. The indicators, the driving lights, the headlights. Nice grill on it. Um, I'm guessing it's like the siren just there. It's missing the two um, side mirrors that were mounted on the front fenders. Uh, fuel filling caps. Uh, let's have a look at the interior. It's a left hand drive. So it's got a spray nozzle on top. It's got a ladder. Um, some sort of light, I believe. Little windscreen wipers molded into the windscreen. The wheels, wheels are quite okay. Yep. Tiny little storage compartment there. Uh, diamond plated toolbox and uh, you got some, a couple of silver hoses uh, shutter at the back a bit of detailing on the rear lights it's quite a nice vehicle question is auto what's that auto pomp that sounds french but the dong feng sounds chinese to me so is it a French vehicle or a Chinese vehicle? Hmm. Not sure. Whatever it is, I like it. So there you go. We've had four different scales. Um, we've had a 164, we've had a 176, a 180 and a 172. All from the brand Del Prado. <laughs> ah, why do we mess around with the scales? Alrighty guys, uh, that's the end of my second Del Prado video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching Red Trucks. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, yeah, that's all i got to say. Take care guys. Bye for now.